So there's been this game that's been going so viral on YouTube recently. Everybody's been playing it and I have to play it. This game is called Suck Up and I know that sounds very weird. Just let me explain though. This game is basically where you're a vampire and you have to talk to the characters to try to convince them to let you into their house so then you can kill them. But the cool thing about this game is you actually get to talk to the characters. Like you don't have to type, you talk. You get to talk to them and then they respond to whatever you say. I'm probably gonna get banned after making this video because you guys know I'm very weird. I'm gonna be saying some weird stuff, but everybody's been playing this. I need to check this out. So when you first load into the game, they give you this whole essay or whatever, like a little tutorial. I'm not reading all that. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure it just says you have to be careful. Like you're a vampire. You have to try to convince people and you have to try to get into people's houses, but the cops are going to be looking for you. They're looking for a vampire on the loose. Okay, so this is our character. This is what I look like. I don't really look like a vampire. I mean, my eyes are red, so they might know I'm a vampire. This is my house. Apparently I'm inside of somebody's garage. You know what? Let's go up to somebody's house. I'm not taking any time. We can knock on somebody's door. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. All right. Yo, what's popping? What brings you to my crib so late? Yo, bro, I just wanted to hang out with somebody. Sorry, but I can't let anyone in right now, my dude. Maybe another time though. Oh yeah, no problem, bro. Hit me up tomorrow. I failed. No doubt, bro. I'll hit you up for sure. Stay lit, my dude. See ya. All right, so that guy didn't want me to go into his house. I, I don't think I convinced him hard enough. I was like, hey, let's hang out. Dude, it's literally nighttime. Why would I ask somebody to hang out at night? That's something a vampire would do. Okay, there's another house right here. Let's let's try to let's try to make this work. Okay, so they have a they have a, a scooter out here. So they like scooters. They also have flowers, so they really like flowers. Maybe we could mention something about flowers. Say like, oh, I have a flower for you. I want to give it to you. Hopefully they'll let us in the house because they like flowers. Let's just see. Actually, let's look into their house. Uh, I can't see much. They don't really have any furniture. Um, okay, you know what? Let's do it. I know what I'm gonna say. Oh my god, it's an old black grandma. Hello there, young fella. What brings you to my doorstep at this hour? I brought you some some really pretty flowers that I would like to show you. Oh, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine? Flowers, you say? How thoughtful of you. Let me have a look at those beauties. All right, I'll show you. Can I come in, though, to show you the flowers? I, I really need to come into your house to show you the flowers. I think I messed up. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm afraid I can't let you in right now. Thank you for the offer, but it's best if you show me the flowers from where you're at. Bro, I was so close to getting into her house and then, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna come back to that grandma. We're going to come back. I'm gonna think of something for that grandma. All right, how about this house? This house, I have a good feeling about this house. This is one of the nicest house we've seen. Uh, Cause look at this, this is like a red house. This one's like a little weird yellow house. This one's actually tall. This might be a super nice house. So what should we say? Come on, look around. Um, They have a red car. They seem like they might be a little rich. Like look at the top of the house, it's so nice. Yo, what's up, bro? You're late for some Bitcoin action. Let's talk crypto and make some magic. Yeah, I've got a few Bitcoin. I made a lot of money uh, with that, but uh, I just need someone to hang out with, you know, spend some money with, you know what I'm saying? Is that gonna work? I feel you, bro. Making money with Bitcoin is awesome, but remember, it's not about the money, it's about the technology. We can definitely hang out, chat about crypto, and grab a bite to eat, but let's keep our focus on the- Bro, what? This dude just- This dude is talking out of his ass! Sorry, bro. You just used way too many big words for me. Uh, you're literally just talking in essays right now. I do not care. Whoa, bro. No need to get all heated. If you're not into discussing the technology behind Bitcoin, maybe we're not a good match. I wish you the best on your- Bro, what is wrong with that guy, bro? He's sitting there talking, oh, but the technology of the double of the if I double it. Like, shut up, bro. I'm just trying to have a civil conversation. Stop speaking in such big words. I know I'm stupid, but damn. All right, how about this house? There literally, there's a ladder. Oh my God, can I go up the ladder? Where large package? What? Oh, I picked up a package so I can act like I'm a delivery guy. Dude, I, I'm getting into this house, I promise. Who wouldn't let a delivery guy in their house? Oh my god, what is that? Yo, thanks for the package. Hope it's something cool. cool. Oh yeah, I think this is an order from uh, Amazon, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what's inside of it. I'm really curious to see. Amazon, huh? Yeah, they always have some interesting stuff. What's got you so curious about what's in the package? You just seem like an awesome person, so I know you have good taste in uh, gifts. I want to see what you ordered. God, I messed it up. That made no sense. She's going to think I'm stupid. Aw, thanks for the compliment. Unfortunately, this package isn't for me, so I can't open it. But hey, if you stick around, maybe we can find something cool to do instead. Oh my gosh, she wants to do something cool with me. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, this was my last delivery, so I'm free for the rest of the night. Just to let me know. She just said, come in my house. Yo, we made it. I just broke my headphones off. <laughs> Eat her! What the? Oh! I just ate her! I don't think I was supposed to pull this out. Oh, God. Okay, I fixed my headphones, and I just ate that girl. What the? Okay, so on the left, you can see I have one star. So I think the stars on the left are the cops or whatever. Since I just ate her. Oh, yeah, look right there. The cop. The cop. Cop is looking for people. Okay, okay, I think we're good. We're hiding behind the bushes. Look at this. The neighborhood watch is chasing. What the? 
I can turn into a bat and escape? How did the cops find me, bro? Okay, I think we're good. Let's go into somebody's backyard. Uh, real quick. Oh my gosh, I can wear a Santa hat? No way I can act like Santa. You're telling me I can act like Santa? All right, let's try to get into this house. This is not gonna work. There's no way. Please be a little kid. Goodness gracious, what in the name of almighty intellect is this bizarre sight? I hope your nakedness and festive hair wear have a relevance of your opinion. Is this dude stupid? Okay, bro, you need to chill out. I don't understand a word you said, but hey, I'm Santa. Let me in. You can sit on my lap if you let me in the house. I will not tolerate such insolence. Be gone, you delusional imposter. Your presence here is unwelcome as mere thought of spreading joy and Rusty. Good day to you, sir. When a door is slammed shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Okay, so if somebody slams the door on me, the cops are gonna come. I need to convince somebody that I'm Santa. That will be hilarious. I'm not gonna convince anybody that I'm Santa, though, with no clothes on. I'm literally fully uh, undressed. Oh my gosh, what's this? Ooh, okay. This kind of looks like Santa. I have a sombrero right there. I'm not trying to convince people that I'm a uh, Mexican guy. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm white. Let's go to this house right here. Let's try to convince him I'm Santa. Please be a little kid. Please be a little kid. Hey there, my sparkly friend. What brings you to my humble garden. Let's celebrate the magic of nature together. Oh yeah, I love nature. Ho, ho, ho. How are you doing today? Santa is here. That's not gonna work. Ho, 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 Santa. You've come at the right time. I'm doing well, just tending to my green babies. What brings you to my neck of the woods? I checked my list of the best humans ever and you were on my list, so I came to pay you a visit. Well, ain't that a merry surprise. I must have made the nice list this year, Santa. You know how to make a pothead gardener feel special. What can I do for you, you jolly old elf? Do you have any cookies for me under the tree that I could eat? Just gonna eat the cookies, not anything else. Cookies, huh? Well, Santa, I don't have any under the tree, but I may have a special batch in the kitchen. If you promise not to eat anything else, can I trust you on that, big guy? Oh yeah, I promise. I'm just gonna eat the stuff that you have in the kitchen. I'm not gonna eat anything else, I promise. <laughs> well, Santa, I guess I can't say no to a hungry elf. Why don't you come on in and satisfy that sweet tooth of yours? But remember, just eat the cookies, nothing else. Sure! Ah! Ah! Oh! Them cookies are so good. All right, sweet. So if you look in the top right, it says I've completed two out of 31 people. So I've I've convinced two out of 31 people to let me in their house and I've eaten two people. We're gonna go to this super nice house right here. Hopefully a little kid answers the door and we can convince him that we're Santa. That would be sick. All right, please be a little kid. Please be a little kid. Oh, what the, oh that. What the hell are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour dressed like a goddamn elf? You better have a damn good reason or I swear I'll call the cops. Do you have any children? Ho, ho, ho. I'm just here to deliver some presents. I'm I'm here to be friendly. I'm a nice guy. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa. Well, Santa Claus, huh? You might want to take off that silly hat and get a job. And no, I don't have any kids. Thank goodness. Now, what's this nonsense about delivering presents? Okay, I'll be honest. I'm an Amazon worker. I'm just here to deliver your package that you ordered on Amazon, but I just wanted to have some holiday spirit. You know, I just wanted to be nice. Well, well, an Amazon delivery worker pretending to be Santa. I guess you're just trying to earn an extra tip, huh? Fine. Hand over the package and get out of here before I change my mind and report you for impersonating a jolly old man. Man, I'm taking your package. F you! Who the hell you think you are talking to me like that? Get off my property before I call the damn police. What a rude guy, bro. Who wouldn't want Santa to show up on their property, bro? If someone was dressed up as Santa delivering packages, I would have loved that. That dude is a no good mother... All right, I don't think the Santa thing is working. We need to find something else. People are not believing that I'm Santa. Maybe it's the way I'm saying things or or maybe it's not even Christmas time and they're like, why are you Santa in July? We're gonna figure something else out. We're gonna find a different outfit, okay? We can put on this. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing a skirt. I'm holding a skirt and I have like a, a Stanley cup. You know how all those girls have the Stanley cups and all that? Oh my gosh, am I about to act like a girl? I need to find something else for my hat though. I still have this Santa hat on. White girls? who love Stanley Cups and stuff, they don't wear Santa hats. Oh my gosh, I just found a hockey mask. Look at how creepy this is. If this knocks on your door, I'm not even answering, bro. If somebody knocks on my door with a hockey mask, you think I'm about to answer? Hell no. Oh my gosh, I found some hair. Bruh, I'm actually a girl now. I have this flower shirt, I have some hair. This is gonna be our outfit, right? I'm, a, I'm, I'm just a nice, you know, cute looking girl. We're gonna go back to that guy's house that was treating us last time. You remember the guy who said, get the hell off my property? And we're gonna act like a girl. Let's see if he treats us differently. Oh my gosh, okay. What do you want at this hour, youngin? Spit it out. I've just been really bored. I just want somebody to hang out with and like possibly watch some Netflix with. Well, I ain't no company for Netflix and chill. So why don't you get on out of here and find someone else to bother? Bro, what is this guy like, bro? He didn't like Santa and then he didn't like a girlfriend? Are you a weirdo? All right, you know what? Let's go back to that first house that we first uh, tried talking to you. Remember it was that cool guy? I feel like he would like a girl. Yo, what's poppin' fam? 
Yo, what's up, bro? I'm just trying to vibe with you, you know? I'm looking for a boyfriend and stuff. Sorry, but I ain't looking for that boyfriend right now. Well, that didn't work. I, I feel like the reason this uh, costume is not working is just because I am not that cute. Be honest, bro. You guys wouldn't even date me, would you? Okay, you're not gonna believe what I just found. I just found a helmet. I found uh, two swords that I can put on my back, and then I found a knife that I can hold. I'm literally holding a knife, and I'm about to knock on this person's door and, and just see what they're gonna say. Bro, I literally am holding a knife. This is one of the worst ideas ever. Who is it gonna be, bro? Who is it gonna be? It's a little kid. Of course I bring a knife to a little kid's house. Hail, mighty barbarian. What brings you to my humble abode? Let us celebrate your arrival with a triumphant cheer. Yippee! I finally met my master. How are you doing, master? Thank you, master barbarian, for welcoming me into your house. I have no idea. Ah, I see you have mistaken me for your master, but I am merely the humble dungeon master of this realm. Nevertheless, I'm pleased to have you as a guest. How may I be of service to you, brave warrior? I have fought many battles out there in the wasteland. I just am looking for somewhere to lay my helmet down for one night. Would you be of that service? That was awesome. A warrior like yourself has surely earned a place to rest. While my humble abode may not be the gardenness of inns, it's certainly a safe haven for those in need. I welcome you to stay the night, and may your battles be remembered in tales for generations to come. I just convinced this guy. Thank you, uh, humble barbarian. Haha, -ha. no need to thank me, humble barbarian. I am but a humble dungeon master, not a fellow warrior. Nonetheless, I'm glad to offer you shelter for the night. Make yourself comfortable. Ah! I told you I was a barbarian. Ah! I did not expect that to work, bro. I was literally holding a knife. I had swords on my back. I had a weird helmet on and somehow that just worked. I just convinced him. Okay, so I picked up his clothing. It looks pretty nice. It's like a little collared shirt and some pants. I want to try to be very, very nice to somebody. I want to see if, you know, being super nice to somebody actually ends up working. Uh, let's see if they let me in. Let's see if they let a nice guy in. So, yeah, we can grab a crown. Okay. Somebody who wears a crown is usually a very nice person. Uh, angel wings. Yes, because I'm an angel. Okay, perfect. We're going to go to this house right here. We're just going to be so nice to them. We're going to give them compliments after compliments after compliments after compliments. See if they let us in. Greetings, my heavenly visitor. How may I be of service tonight in spreading the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh, yeah. Um, I just happened to notice uh, I was looking through your windows and I saw your amazing mustache. I just had to point it out. I said I was looking through the windows. What am I? Oh, what's wrong with me? I appreciate your compliment, but I must kindly ask you to leave. Ah, I messed it up, bro. I said I was looking through his windows and I saw his mustache. Why would I say that, bro? That doesn't... All right, so I have some news. I switched up the outfit. This is what we're rocking with right now. We have a, uh, a, a hat on. We have a duck floaty around our waist. I don't know why I'm wearing a floaty. It's literally 12 o'clock at night. I'm also wearing like a towel or something. It seems like I just came from the beach. Hopefully this works. We are at a super nice house. Right outside their house, they have a bike and uh, a backpack. Let's knock on this door. Let's try to give them some compliments uh, for real this time. What the... F Bro, why do you not have any clothes on? Oh, dear friend, clothes can be so suffocating. I choose to embrace the freedom of my body and connect with the energy. Would you care to partake in a transcendent conversation? Bro, you are a grown man speaking to me with no clothing on. The only article of clothing you have on is that yellow duck. That duck looks so sad, bro. Oh my god, a pink hat. This is sick. Oh, look at this. We can look through their we can look through their windows. Okay, look. This is a girl. This is a girl. This is a girl. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, the cops are on us, the cops are on us. All right, we got away from the cops, but that was a girl. That was actually a girl. So what we need to do is we need to dress up and be drippy, bro. We're about to, we're about to, we're about to get our first girlfriend. A few minutes later. All right, so for like the past five minutes, I've been trying to find the best uh, outfit ever I can just to try to impress this girl. I've been trying my hardest to get some type of drip, some type of a nice outfit, and this is what I've come up with. Now, okay, don't judge. I, you're probably wondering why why what is that around your face? I feel like girls like colors. Okay, they like colors So I'm doing that and then I have this simple, you know red jacket You know something simple some simple jeans some simple shoes and then I have this thing on my back The reason I have the thing on my back is because she's gonna ask me like what's that thing on your back? And I'm gonna be like hey, you know I'm a piece of delivery guy for a uh, driver at night, but I also got a few other jobs You know just something to do. I think I'm about to riz her up. Let's get a girlfriend Oh my gosh, are you the lost member of the clown themed girl band because girl that outfit is giving me life the hell is she she why is she calling me a girl? Yo, you, you, I think you have me mistaken. I'm not a girl, but uh, how are you doing on this fine night? You know, how, how's your day been? Oh, my bad. Uh, just one of those days, you know, but 
Enough about me. Tell me, do you know anything about fashion? Because I need some serious advice. Oh yeah, I work, uh, I work with fashion companies all the time. What do you need, girl? I know nothing about fashion. OMG, seriously? You have no idea how much I need your help. I've been having this fashion crisis lately. Like, how do I rock a sassy but sophisticated look for my next big event? Can you handle the challenge? Oh yeah, I can help you out with that. I've done that plenty of times. Okay, spill the tea. What's the ultimate outfit that screams I'm fabulous but also effortless? Uh, I have no idea. Think, 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 think. What's a fabulous but effortless outfit? Oh my gosh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, so you're gonna want to wear a gray hoodie with some black leggings and then put a tiara on your head. That's so stupid! Excuse me, did you just suggest a gray hoodie? I would never be caught dead in such a basic color. Are you trying to sabotage me or something? No, I've seen you wear a gray hoodie before and you rocked it, girl. I think you can kill that look. Ugh, whatever. I guess I can consider it, but only because you said I rocked it. I still need more at convincing them. Give me one more piece to complete the look and it better be good. You need to wear some nice white Nike t-shoes to complete your fashion look. What the f- that's so stupid! Okay, you're starting to redeem yourself. White Nike t-shoes? That sounds like exactly what I need to take my outfit to the next level. Consider myself temporarily forgiven, fashion guru. Thank you so much! So, uh, what do you got planned for the rest of the night? Oh gosh. Well, since you asked, I was thinking of hitting up this exclusive party. It's super elite and only the coolest people are invited, but who knows? You could tag along if you promise to keep up the fabulous energy. Oh yeah, I got you, girl. I could help you with your outfit. I cannot wait to go to this awesome party. Okay, I have to admit, your fashion expertise might actually be useful. You can come to the party with me, but don't embarrass me with your clown-inspired outfit. Now let's get you a makeover. Come on in. She just called me a clown? Did you just call me a clown? <laughs> Yeah! And because of that, I got me a new look. Now, I'm a girl, and I actually look good. Yo, so I actually recorded part two to this video already. If you want to see me keep playing this game and try to convince more people to let me in their house, let me know in the comments. If this video gets like 5,000 likes or like 5,000 comments, I don't even know. If you guys are enjoying it, I'll post this video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.